shit ain't landing for them. And so as a result of that, you lose a little bit of trust that you normally, and anytime you lose trust, you lose conversion rates, you lose a bit of, bit of ROI when you didn't need to, when you could have just called them, left a voicemail during times when they normally wouldn't answer the phone. That is either after work or after business hours. If you're doing this to businesses that you're targeting, or if you're talking about in consumers here, it would be the opposite of it. It'd be during hours where they are at work, so to say. That would be one tip. Now that's obviously not a mandatory tip, but the one that will improve your results. From there, you're gonna, you have your list, you have your offer. Okay, now it's time to actually get to the exciting part. Run the actual campaign. I would recommend starting out testing a thousand names. A thousand names will give you enough of a sample size on the list that you're, where you're getting your name list from to know if you're at least on the right track or not, okay? Of that, you're gonna actually drop voicemails at least 10 times in a row for each person. So out of a thousand names, you're gonna drop the voicemail, you're gonna wait a week, you're gonna drop it again, you're gonna wait a week, you're gonna drop it again. And after 10 weeks, you're gonna then now do your analysis on how many replies and how many sales you got. Of course, if you're like the golfer, the, uh, the golf example that I gave you before, the, the golf pro shop, you're going to also want to keep track of how many of those customers came in, buy, and then bought again, bought again, bought again, because the lifetime value is also very important. And actually, the best way you can figure that out is just to ask all your customers as they come through, where did you find them, find us at, and then keep tabs on that person that comes through. And it's worth it to do that at the end of the day. Um, namely because you can make your campaign more profitable when you know how valuable the campaign is. If you know it's super profitable, then maybe you actually sweeten the offer a little bit to get even more response or whatever. You can make your adjustments with no data. You can't make any adjustments. With that, and then when you're all said and done with, as it pertains to the math, you're going to do the math. Okay, how much sales revenue did I pull in? And it might be you have to wait a year before the customers come in where you can predict the customers you got. You know, are they going to come back again? and again, how much they really worth? But with that said, if you're going, if you've got something you know can work, you can buy these voicemail drops in bulk. If you buy them at least 10,000 at a time, you can pay one penny per voicemail drop. So you obviously, in the uh, example with the golf uh, pro shop, if out of 5,000 voicemail drops, if we get one customer out of it, we're in business with the $500 customer lifetime value because 5,000 drops would mean $50 with the marketing acquisition cost. We're still at a 10 to one return at the end of the day, which by the way, is about what you can expect for a response rate. Out of about 5,000 voicemail drops, you should be able to get one sale out of it. I know it sounds like a low number, but when you're doing cold outreach campaigns, it just takes a lot. It takes a lot of emails, it takes a lot of vo voicemail drops, whatever you're doing, even with a good offer. And that's assuming you have a good offer that's still gonna stop people in, the, in their tracks and say, wow, I don't normally see an offer like that every day. Uh, that said, putting in this frame of reference here, if you get a 0.02% response rate on your voicemail drops, right, which is one in 5,000, your email response rate to the same list should get you about a 0.1% response rate, which is five times as good, roughly speaking, as what you will get from when you get from email specifically when you compare that to voicemail drops. However, here's the crux of the situation. Phone numbers are usually only about 10 cents a, a piece to, to get access to a data broker or collecting them manually. Whereas an email is going to be a lot more expensive because emails, personal emails are harder to get, particularly in the B2B space. Collecting email addresses of business owners or contacts at a business, that can cost you anywhere from a dollar a name, if not upwards of like $5 a name for just one email. So certainly when you're selling to end consumers, emails are considerably cheaper they're usually still not as cheap as having a phone number. Why? Because people give their phone number on a lot more, give it out a lot more easily than they do their email address. Anyway, that, that should put things into perspective of like, okay, well I do email, why don't I do, just do email or whatever? Or another better way to look at this is if you are making any kind of money with email marketing, you have to do voicemail drops because you're gonna be able to get, you're gonna multiply how much money you're making. But that just kind of goes with the territory. If you make money with email outreach with, con with, with a certain li list of contacts, you'll make even more if you add voicemail drops to that. 
You'll make even more if you take that same email list and you upload it to Facebook and AdRoll and you run banner ads to the same people. You multiply what you're making and not only that, if they seen your banner ad and then later on they got your email and saw that and later on they get your voicemail drop, this voicemail drop is going to work better than if they didn't see you twice before. It's called omni-channel marketing. It's not one plus one plus one equals three. It's like, you know, basically one plus one plus one equals nine. It's that each time they see you, the response rate on each subsequent time that they see you is going to be increased or enhanced due to familiarity and perceived recognition and therefore what you seem like a trusted brand at that point in time. And if you couldn't get email marketing to work for yourself, then voicemail drops might not work. But then again, if that's, you know, the principles that I gave you here, here today will make email working, email campaigns work better. That is, there's two main things here that come into play, your offer and your list. If you don't have a good offer that people give a shit about right away, they, and they say, this is the best email that I got all week, that's literally the, the standard to make email marketing work, the level you need to be operating at, then you need to do that. If who you're targeting isn't a known list of buyers that buy stuff like you have, that you have to sell, then you need to get that end of your game up. Contacting known buyers with an unresistible offer, that's where the magic really comes into play in any outreach type marketing that you do. So, Anyway, as far as the Golf Pro Shop, we were talking about a $50 acquisition cost with an offer like I told you that we did here where we're offering 50% off for new customers and we're offering it for a certain minimum amount of time or sorry, maximum amount of time, which that is also going to be a part of your offer just as another side tip. Anytime you can uh, decrease procrastination by people knowing they can take advantage of your offer anytime. You're going to increase response rates significantly. Uh, other side tips, by the way, you want your voicemail going back to what I said at the beginning part of this video, you need to sound personal. That voicemail drop that we did for the pro shop or suggested the guy do for his, his, his pro shop. It's, Hey, this is Mark from down at XYZ pro shop here on 46th Street here in Denver. We're offering a new customer discount for this month only, 50% off anything that you were gonna buy. If you were gonna buy anything this spring in terms of golf gear, you can now buy it 50% off if you come in here just as a thank you for any new customers coming in, blah, 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 blah. So why sound personal? Because all of us have this, own, our, this filter now where people look at everything they see and they say, is this an ad or isn't this an ad? Because people see like 5,000 advertisements a day. So they don't have the middle capacity to just digest all these advertisements. So the best way to get an ad to work is to make people think it's not an ad so they actually pay attention to and consider the information that's being put in front of them. The best way to do that is just to not look like an ad at all. Well, if you sound like somebody who just left a voicemail, that's your friend, now it's gonna work. That same principle works whether you're running ads whether you're running, doing email marketing, whatever, you're going to get at least four or five times the response rates on your campaign sounding personal than sounding like a, a big company. And, so, and with that, your friend wouldn't sound polished. So your voicemail should just not sound polished at all. Not by a professional voiceover actor, just literally off the rip. It should just literally be you talking into the phone as if you were talking to your friend. That's what's going to get your results. Similar to that, now you can do voicemail drops with AI. You can do like you can do with direct mail campaigns, you could do what they call mail merge. So you can say, hi, insert name. I'm contacting you because I have worked with other fishing suppliers in insert name of city or what have you. That always increases conversion rates when you personalize. Well, now you can do these voicemail drops with personalization. It's amazing how it works, but literally speaking, it, it, it you train it on your voice and then you could note where you want the foot where to to basically insert something else in there and you give it a spreadsheet with the data and you could send out 5,000 voicemails each is personalized based upon what you've fed in as far as a, you know, on a spreadsheet what each person uh which part of the voicemail should be set in each spot for each person just like you could do on an email mail merge or on a direct mail mail merge letter so that will obviously increase response rates. Yes, it's a bit more work, but it's certainly worth it to do. And if you get, what I like to do is keep things simple at the beginning, do, some, do your voicemail drop, 
See if you get anywhere even close to the numbers you need to be profitable. And then once you are, now start investing time in getting the AI going, because you know that's gonna probably double your response, if not triple it right off, well, right out the gate. But you don't need to do this right up front to know the, the test that you have, you know, to know if you've got some viability in your offer and your list that you've got itself up front, if you follow. Finally, if you're doing con if you're doing B2B sales targeting businesses, this is only going to basically work well if you're targeting businesses with 50 employees or less. 100 or less if you really stretch it. Why? Because the company becomes so big, the person answering the voicemail don't give a rat's ass whether or not your message gets onto the person who actually makes the decision on to move on whatever it is that you're buying or selling at the end of the day. So we've got you know, we've contacted, you know, law offices and supplement suppliers and all this other stuff that have 75 employees and we'll get response right back at our advertising agency doing voicemail drops, mentioning that we've got experience in their area, therefore they should contact me, the owner of the company, which is, it's all obviously true. We're doing that. We're not just bullshitting here, but, you know, and instead of calling everybody manually, you just make a list. Okay. Well, everybody in the industry that we know that we know where we got experience, we should contact them. Naturally, uh, we've got those response from that side of the company, but we've never, as far as I still remember, gotten a response from somebody with 500 employees that way. So if you were targeting bigger companies, unfortunately, this isn't a golden ticket for you. And, you know, that's just the way that it is. Namely, because yes, the person answering the voicemail ain't gonna be able to get back to you, but also namely, that the voicemail drop companies, they don't have a way to put in a certain extension, caller extension. And also you don't know the caller extension of the person at the company. I mean, you could naturally, somebody with a voicemail drop service that's watching this should actually come out with that. If I could put in there, here's the phone number, here's the extension, call it, wait for the extension to you know pick up and then drop the voicemail there, that would be freaking amazing. I would use that all day long so that you could use the same uh, system on huge companies, targeting all the chief information officers at all these companies that are big Fortune 500 companies with a certain pitch for that, that works just for them. That would be great. But as far as I still know, that doesn't, there's nobody doing exactly that, but I haven't investigated it. I'm not an industry expert. This isn't my main field of expertise. I mainly am an ad manager guy that also does stuff like this on the side for companies. I also own and part owner in, run several other companies, uh, other than our ad agency where, you know, also invest in and, and run ad campaigns for, and also just talk to clients and, and, and tell them, okay, well, this guy over here is doing voicemail drops. He said it works, you should try it. Oh, and then I get feedback about what other stuff works. And marketing wise, I, I like to give that kind of feedback to my clients in conversation with them as well. But I don't know if they have voicemail drop systems that can get through voicemail trees if you have the, the extension ready to go at least. If there is, you should definitely let me know in the comments. But with that said, I'll wrap it up with that. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. I get back to every single person who leaves me a question or comment on this channel, usually within 24 hours time. You can ask me any ad related question you'd like. I'm more than happy to use my 15 years of ad experience to put you on the right track of what you're doing as best as I can, just as a thank you for watching the channel and helping the channel grow. If you are looking for information that's gonna legitimately help you make millions of dollars running ads for your business, this is the channel you wanna to subscribe to out of all the channels that are there here on YouTube to subscribe to, as it's coming, the information that I'm presenting to you comes directly from the source. I manage specifically dozens of ad accounts for clients that here at our ad, ad agency at, at any given time. It's my full-time 40 hour a week job. And I just do the ad strategy side of things. That is, I got a staff that does execution. I just figure out what strategies work and don't work. And I give you the exact information of what we find works and what doesn't work on this channel for you to consume. Therefore, the best information you're gonna find online about how to make money running ads for your business. Everybody else that's talking on this, you know, on YouTube about running ads, they're selling courses, they ain't really running ads themselves. They're misrepresenting you or they run an agency, somebody else runs the ads, they don't really know anything about running ads either. So it's all just second, third, fourth hand information, whereas you're getting information straight from the source on this channel. So if you're serious about making money with ads, 
you want to subscribe and you want to subscribe right now. You can also find my blog at guaranteedppc.com slash blog, where you can find step-by-step -step instructions on specific strategies we found that makes money with screenshots with the whole thing. Whereas on this channel, you can find high level advice, talk about the certain things that do and don't work. You can find step-by-step -step methods to make money if you go ahead and you read my content there. So if you like the channel, you'll love my blog in addition, and you'll probably certainly like it even more. I run an ad agency here. The name of it, of course, is Guarantee PPC. The reason why we call it Guarantee PPC is because we guarantee our clients' results up front. That is, if our clients don't make more money after working with us up front, we do not charge a fee. That is, we are seeking to make you more money from your campaigns and profit, specifically profit from your campaigns, before we ask for a fee. And we want you to make more than what we're going to ask for a fee before we even ask for a fee. I know it sounds too good to be true, but this is exactly what we do at our agency. No other agency does it. The only catch is, is we got to make sure we can get you great results before we even offer to work with you as a client. So we don't work with just any client in that regard. But if you want to see if we can work together, reach out to me at guaranteedppc.com. Be happy to give you a free analysis on what you're doing and see what the possibilities are with it. Or if you're trying to start something up new, I'll potentially, you know, be offered offer to come in and help you start something else up. Uh, but with that, that is a totally done for you service. If you're not looking for a done for you service and ad agency like we have here, where we're primarily helping clients out in that way, we have ad templates that we've developed that work great in hundreds of different niche markets. I've run Guarantee PPC for 10 years now. In those 10 years, we work with hundreds and hundreds of clients. Therefore, we've probably worked in your niche market before. And if so, if you're as long as you're in a different geographic area than our client or past client, you can use the exact ads, landing pages, everything that we've developed for your individual niche market to get results in it for, and just copy and paste those into your own account and get the same fantastic results we're getting or have gotten and get it for very little money. So uh, if you want to see if we worked in your niche market to see if we have we know things already about your niche market that you can just use. You can reach out to me at guaranteeppc.com and I'll be happy to tell you what results we've got in your niche market already. If we've worked in your niche market, certainly that that's, and it can let you know about that opportunity as well. We've got people using these templates, by the way, to just start whole new businesses. If you want to have the easiest, best way to start a business that's going to hit the ground running right away, start with a template that we already know to, that we know can sell a certain product or service for sure. And then you're going to have it right away, whether that if being, if you want to get into e-commerce, you know, we can give you a template to sell a certain item in your country that our client isn't in and hit the ground running with it right away. Or you want to get into selling leads to businesses, which is a great passive income business idea, give you a template that can generate leads at rock bottom cost. And then you have something that you can start, you know, selling right away, but uh, which we've got several people doing that with our templates now, which is the reason why I bring it up in my videos. Uh, every day as well here as well. But anyway, if you're interested in that type of opportunity, opportunity, you can reach out to me at guaranteepbc.com. I'll be happy to speak with you about it. But with that said, I'll wrap everything up with that. Hopefully that made a lot of sense to you, what I shared with you here today, and I'll see you on the next one. See you later.